Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. We've got Hackathon, Chinese Korean Club, and Student Book Group. Whew, that was a lot of stairs. Here we go. What's up, Novi? Chinese Korean Club is meeting after school today in room 247. They will be learning about Lunar New Year, and also you can bring an optional $3 for a painted lunar activity. What's up, Novi? Culture Club is meeting Friday, February 23rd at 250 in room 182. They will be learning about the New York City Black Culture in honor of Black History Month. All are welcome and snacks are provided. See you there, Novi. Hey, Novi. Student Book Group is meeting February 26th at 2.50 p.m. in the Media Center Forum. They will be going over the book Iron Widow by Ziran J. Zhao. All students are welcome and we hope to see you there. Hey, Wildcats. AMCC is hosting our hackathon tomorrow. It will be located in the forum. They will have a guest speaker who is the head of AI at the University of Michigan Dearborn coming to give a speech. There will also be free food and cash prizes for winners. We will have a beginners and advanced bracket, so all skill levels are welcome. Hey Wildcats, next Monday at 3 p.m. our Japanese club will be decorating cookies in room 247. Make sure to bring with you $2 to get in. Again, this meeting is Monday, February 26th in room 247. See you there, Wildcats. Have you ever heard about block scheduling? Nova used to have that system of scheduling a few years ago. I was interested in learning what it was, so I interviewed... Ron Kane, assistant principal here. Take a listen to this question and answers with Mr. Kane. So there's a variety of block schedules that are out there. Uh, the one that uh, Novi was on uh, back in approximately 2005, I'm not really sure when it started, um, but it was uh, four periods a day uh, for about 90 minutes were the class periods. So students would have four classes um, and teachers would teach three out of four classes during the day. Uh, so it was about 2010, um, the administration at that point wanted us to look at different schedule, different type of schedules, um, and that's when uh, it was switched to the six period day. Yeah, I think some of the advantages um, as a teacher, um, I think you know, you're know you able to really get to know your kids because you're there with them for 90 minutes. Um, it leaves more times for different activities. I know for like science labs, you know, you, you had time for those. And so I think that was, you know, uh, beneficial um, at that time. I think right now in the six period day, you get more, um, time in your core subjects areas because if you're only there for a semester, so you would have year long done completed in a semester. So, you know, you have more time in those core subjects areas um, now in the six period day compared to what you had in block scheduling. Block scheduling is more expensive because you have teachers teaching three out of four classes. Uh, whereas, uh, again, that was the sk block scheduling we were on. There are different types, so you could look at it different ways. Um, so that schedule is more expensive compared to the six period day where teachers are teaching five or six classes. You would need more teachers on the block scheduling uh, compared to the traditional six period day. As a teacher, I, I enjoyed the, you know, I've taught in both the traditional six period day and the block scheduling. Um, again, the, the time that you have, you know, for a class period to do more activities and, and cooperative learning and, and research, and uh, you can really have the time to do that. Um, I know some teachers maybe, you know, they didn't like it as much like, I know, um, you know, maybe math, you know, likes the traditional six period day uh, more, um, but it all depends, you, you know, and so um, I think, you know, there's benefits and negatives of any schedule. If it's a block schedule or even if you look at trimesters or um, different, whatever type of schedules, there's benefits um, and negatives to, to, to all of them. There has not been any discussion on changing any schedule here. You heard that right, folks. There is no way block scheduling is coming back anytime soon. But I hope you learned something new today. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Remember that the Libbed Up sign up will be open at 1.20 p.m. today during advisory. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Goodbye. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest.